Well, hello everyone and uh, welcome back to this next tutorial. We have, uh, I want you to open up the example 02 HTML document and all it is is just a couple of uh, paragraphs. You can see here in the code, just got a couple of p tags in there with some filler text. So if you have these sample files, go ahead and open up that file. If not, just create a document with a couple of paragraphs. Okay, so um, what I'd like to talk about now is uh, creating classes. So in that first um, tutorial, we were redefining existing HTML tags and redefining what their properties were and what they could do. Um, so that's one type of a rule that we can set up. The second type of a rule uh, that I want to talk about is a class. So um, these rules are rules that we apply to specific places on the page. When we redefined a tag, the tag, um, any time, anywhere where that tag showed up, it would automatically take those properties. So if we redefined what the p tag did, um, like for instance, if I were just to come in here and say I'm going to redefine the p tag, um, you can see I've got a couple of paragraphs on there. Let me just put this in a new style sheet. So this can be uh, exercise two style sheet. Um, in this one now, if I were to put a background in, both paragraphs would get it. So it just happens automatically. If I had 10 paragraphs on the page, 10, all, all the paragraphs would get this background color or whatever property I, um, I decided on. So what we're going to do here is going to be a little different than that. Let me just take care of that. Um, is I, what if I want these paragraphs to be different? I don't want them to be the same. I want one of them to be sort of its own thing. For instance, if you're working through your, um, I'm going to make a couple more of these. Um, say you're working through your uh, website and um, you have a paragraph here or there that you really want to highlight. You want it to stand out from all the others. Um, then you would make a class to do that and apply the class just to that paragraph. So I'm going to click the new CSS rule button and you can see it comes up and here's my choices again. I'm going to select class and I've got to give it a name. So maybe this is going to be for highlighting text. So I might do high, um, highlight and text is the name. So this would be my highlight for text or paragraph. So now what I want to do here is um, I want to leave the font the same so I don't need to change it. I do want a background color behind this specific paragraph, maybe just a light yellow. Um, and as far as the box goes, I'd like it to be a little bit indented from the rest of the page. Um, and it doesn't need any more top or any more margin up on the top or the bottom because there's already margins from the paragraph. But maybe I'd like a little bit um, on either side to kind of make it indented from the rest. Okay, and let's put a border around it and that'll make it stand out. So I'm just going to put a four-sided border, one pixel wide, and let's just keep it simple and make it black. And I'm going to say OK to that. So if we look here, oh, I got it in the wrong place. I'm going to drag that up. Um, <clears throat> OK. So you can see this class that I've created, this highlight text class, here's its properties. You can see it's got a yellow background, a one pixel border, and 20 pixels of margin top and bottom. So once it's created, I sort of have that over there as a custom class or as a class, and I can apply it to whatever paragraph I would like. So the way I do that, when I'm ready to apply it, come back to my HTML document, and I'm going to select the paragraph that I want it to uh, affect. So I highlight it like that. Um, and then here on the HTML uh, toggle of the of this properties bar, there is a drop down for class. Now, any classes that I've created will show up on that drop down. You can see, and it even gives me a little preview of what it's going to look like. So, when I click that, it applies that class to that paragraph. And let's say I want it on this other paragraph as well. Okay, so you can see the indenting happening, the background color, the border on there. So, I can apply it to classes as I go and it doesn't have to take effect. It doesn't happen automatically. It's not the new default. Um, 
So I can see there's a uh, there's one or two problems here with this um, with this class and the way it looks at least I need some spacing here between the text and the border and that is the padding. So <clears throat> I'm going to go back here and edit this so I can either double click up here on the name to open up the panel again or what I usually do is highlight it and just click the pencil button which is the edit rule button and that brings me back to this dialog box that lets me choose the property. So padding is down here under the box and I want padding all the way around so I'll leave that same for all checked. Maybe let's just try to see what 10 pixels look look like. Now since I've already applied the class I can click this apply button to see this new effect. Okay, so there is, um, that looks about right. So I can create these classes kind of as I go um, to, to highlight different things. Like let's say if, you know, in, maybe inside of one of these paragraphs, I wanted to uh, create a special style um, for one of these. Um, like maybe every once in a while I had some text that I wanted it to be italic, bold, and red. So it really stood out. So that kind of a thing where I have multiple properties that I want to um, change, but just to specific texts, pieces of text around my document, that's a perfect thing for a, um, a class. So I'm going to click plus, and so maybe this is going to be my, uh, my red text. Okay, and then I come in and all I'm going to say is, you know, I'd like um, <clears throat> the style to be italic, I'd like it to be bold, and I want it to be this really bright red. Now I can click apply all I want, but that that that's not going to change anything out here because I haven't applied this style yet. So I'm going to say OK. Now I've got it. You can see I've got it on my list over here and it's on my drop down menu. So let me go in and select, let's say, oh maybe, you know, I decided I wanted this bit of text right here to be red. So I can open that up, select it, open up the class menu say red and you can see that it made it red, made it bold, and uh, made it italic, all three properties. So I, as I'm working through my document every time where I wanted to um, make something stand out I could add that to it even inside of here. So I could say well I need those couple of words to be red even though they're already inside of another class it's no problem. So I could go through, you, you get the idea. Now as I, as I look at that I decide maybe later, gosh you know the bold is um, uh, the bold isn't uh, what I want. I wonder what it would look like without the bold. If I just want to try uh, just to test it out to see what it looks like without bold, um, in the latest version here, CS5, there's a little tool here um, where I can select that particular um, <clears throat> attribute and value uh, item and there's a little button here that basically disables it. So I click on that and it turns the italic off. I click back on it, turns the italic back off. Well, I think I wanted the bold to turn off. Let's see what it looks like with the bold. Oh, okay, that looks better. So I can turn that off now. If I decide I don't want it, I really actually need to m remove this instead of just disable it. So with it highlighted, I can just hit the trash can and it takes that off. Um, if I just wanted to change another property, um, I can click the pencil to open up and it will open up the dialog box and let me edit all the properties of that rule. I can also edit stuff right here. Um, for instance, if, I, that, if that red isn't quite what I wanted, I can come right back in here and you know I have lots of control over what I would what I would like that to be and I can do it right from here and I don't necessarily have to always open up the whole edit rule dialog box to make small changes like that. Um, also you know uh, let me just edit one more thing here so you can kind of see how this works you know these two paragraphs that have this class applied to them um, maybe at a later time I decide well I, you know I need a different background color or I want more margin um, then I can select that um, that style and I can open uh, come here and say well, I think I just want a gray background and notice um, now I've got a lot of power because if I had apply, if I had applied that highlight text throughout my website you know 50 60 100 times um, all I have to do is change the class here and all of those places where I've applied it now have all changed they're still um, consistent across my website and I don't have to go to all 60 of them and change the change the style on those individually
Okay, so those are classes. So classes are things are the type of a rule that you create. Once it's created, then you apply it to HTML elements um, that are already on the page. Okay, so it's different than redefining a tag. The tag, if you change what a p tag does, every time that p tag shows up, it's going to have those properties. With a class, that's not true. With a class, I just apply the class to the elements that I want to have those properties of the class. And it doesn't ever happen automatically. Okay, that's all for this tutorial.